516, welcome back. Well, there's been some recent buzz online about a parade of planets that are visible in the sky this coming Monday morning. However, this six planet lineup might not be as impressive as the headlines make you believe. No. I know. <laughs> what the heck? Fox 43 is Daniel Miller. Chats with a local expert about the reality of this parade of planets next week, as well as some other worthwhile events in the sky. Jupiter, Mercury, Uranus, Mars, and Neptune and Saturn will all appear to line up in the sky in what's being called a parade of planets early Monday morning. However, it's not going to look quite as picturesque as well this picture makes you think. In reality, only two of the planets will actually be visible by eye, and some of the other planets you will have to be an experienced amateur astronomer to even have a chance of seeing them. Todd Ulrey of the York County Astronomical Society has been running its planetarium for nearly two decades. He tells Fox 43 that this planet parade isn't one to get excited about, with only two planets likely to be seen. Saturn and Mars will be the only ones that will be visible. Mars has a little bit of reddish tinge to it. It uh, is a little bit brighter than Saturn right now. The other planets will be hard even for amateur astronomers to see with a telescope. And while this event might not be very spectacular, Ulrey says that there are other celestial events that you should keep an eye out for this summer, including the appearance of a new star, or nova. This is a star that erupts every 80 years, and we are expecting it to happen again this summer, where a star that wasn't visible before uh, without a telescope will become uh, as bright as the star Polaris. This nova could appear any day now and will be visible when you look east at sunset for about a week. Something else to keep an eye on? Another chance to see the aurora. The sunspot group that caused the May 10th uh, aurora has returned from around the back of the sun and it's already giving off X-class flares, which are the strongest kind. And uh, in a couple more days, it will rotate to be Earth facing, and if it gives off more flares, we will have a good chance of having more war here. Ellery cautions people from believing some of the bigger headlines online and encourages them to keep an eye on local trusted resources for the best information on everything happening in the sky. I want people to know about real astronomy going on, and when we publish stuff on our website, it's because there's something that we really want people to see. Danielle Miller, Fox 43 News. If you're interested in learning more about what's up in the sky, the York County Astronomical Society hosts a public star watch every month at their observatory at John Rudy County Park. Their next one is happening Saturday, June 8th. A lot of excitement there, and man, I really wanted to see that, though. It's kind of depressing. It's just a reminder to look up every now and then. Yeah. You never know what you're looking at sometimes. Yeah, though. I mean, I think it was, was it last year? I want to say, I, want, I think it was the year before we had that lineup a similar lineup mm -hmm. anyway. Uh -huh. I think the planets were a little different. And I think we actually had Venus on our side too. But it was really nice and it was good to see that time. But this time around, yeah, no. Okay. And even if it was going to be something impressive again, weather Cloudy. Sunday night and into Monday morning would probably not be on our side by the looks of it, unfortunately. Oh, okay, you know what, that's exactly. good to know though, because a lot of people probably were going to be sitting outside and trying yes. to, they probably still will try to see it, but you never know. At least the two planets that you can this time right. around.